A biased coin is tossed, tossed three times and it's recorded whether it falls heads or tails, with the probability of heads being one third. Part A says draw a tree diagram to represent this information. Okay. So let's draw the tree diagram. So a coin has two different outcomes. Okay. It can either be heads or tails. Okay. Heads or tails. Right. In this case, it tells us that the probability of being heads is one third. Okay. Normally, a normal coin, an unbiased coin, would be half half. But because this coin is biased, the probability is one third. So we write one third there. Now the probability of being tails, right, is going to be whatever whatever is left left over, right? So if the probability of getting heads is one third, the probability of getting tails is going to be two thirds. Okay. Right. Now because the coin is tossed three times. We need to go three times, right? So this is one time. Then it's tossed again. So again, it can either be heads or tails. Heads or tails. And the probability doesn't change, right? It's still one third to get heads and two thirds tail. One third, two thirds. So this would be the, the second toss. And now we go, we go one more time, okay, for the third one. So again, we can either get heads or tails, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, tails. And the probability doesn't change. Still one third for heads and two thirds for tails. One third, two third, one third, two third, and the same here. Okay, so this would be the tree diagram to represent the three different times this bias coin is tossed, okay, with the probabilities. Okay, excellent. Now part B says, find the probability that the coin lands on heads all three times. Okay, so this is going to be the probability, and it's always better to write it down so we can visualize it. Of getting heads all three times so gonna get, get heads first heads on the second time and heads on the third time so what's the probability of getting head 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 so for this it's better to go it's always good to go back to the tree diagram and basically follow the path right so here we have three heads so first we go up to heads so it would be here then we go to heads one more time and the heads one more time Okay, so we know it's along this path here. And we also have the probabilities for that. So we know that the probability of getting head three times is going to be one third times one third times one third. Okay, which is equal to one over 27. So that's the probability of getting uh, well, the probability that the coin lands on heads all three times. Okay, now what about part C? Part C says, find the probability that the, crown, that the coin lands on the heads only once. Okay, so let's see how many different outcomes there can be. So, heads only once, right? So first we can go here. So we can get heads and then tail, tail. Okay. So we can get head and then tail, tail. So this would be one one outcome. Now we need to go back. To, now we need to go down here. Okay. Because once we've had head once, then we can only get more heads. So then you can get tail, then head, and then tail, right? So we can get tail, head, tails. And finally, we can also get tails, tails, and head. Tail, tails, and head. So as you can see, there's three different outcomes where the coin can land on heads only once, okay? So then we need to find out the probabilities for each of these outcomes, okay? So getting heads and then tails, tails, from the, from the tree diagram, we know is one third 
times two thirds times two thirds. Then getting tails, heads and tails is two thirds times one third times two thirds. And finally, tails, tails, heads is two thirds times two thirds times one third. Okay. Now, if you multiply all these different uh, probabilities, and then you add all of the three up, you should get that the answer is equal to four over nine. Okay. So let me know down in the comments if you get this answer as well. Perfect. And let's see, part D says, find the probability of obtaining either three, sorry, before that it says the whole experiment is repeated for a second trial. The whole experiment is repeated for a second trial. So it means that this tree diagram is repeated a second time, okay? Then it says, find the probability of obtaining either three heads or three tails in both trials. Okay, so part D is basically saying, what's the probability of obtaining three heads? So we can write this as, so probability head, 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 or three tails. So plus the probability of getting three tails. But then it also says in both trials, okay? So it would simply be probability head three times plus probability tails three times if it were one trial. But because this is in both trials, so there's two of them, whatever probability we get is going to be squared, okay? So the probability of getting head, 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 we said on the first one was... 1 over 27. And the probability of getting tails three times would be 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds. And this whole thing squared. Okay. So 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds is, let's see, 8 over 27. So then we have 1 over 27 plus 8 over 27 squared. So inside the brackets is 9 over 27. So 1 over 3, basically. And then 1 over 3 squared is going to be 1 over 27. Okay. So let me know down in the comments if you get the same answers as me. And if you have any questions, do let me know. I will answer them.